You good? Yeah. 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 And uh also it was kind of a two parter since uh since that whole combat related everything. I was wondering, Ace, what your opinion is on the whole situation overseas and whatnot and how everything's shutting down yeah it looks like we're getting pulled back into everything like what's a good way to in your mind how to turn it around in our favor because you look at people like over at jordan where they burned a guy alive so the Mm. i think it's the president he went over there and just started raining hate over there can't judge um (laughs) all right just cultural the first thing we need to understand and it's something that uh, my buddy dennis prager always speaks about And I think it's something that folks on the left need to realize, maybe more so than folks on the right. There needs to be the recognition of evil. Yes. I, for some reason, there's a lot of misunderstood and that's part of the culture or they're just, if, if if only there were jobs. You know what I mean? Like this sort of notion of like, hey, if these young boys had jobs, they wouldn't be putting yeah. burning tires around people. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. I I struggled to find a job for a long time, but I, I never thought of punching some a journalist, you know, because I didn't yeah. have a gig, you know. So what, what, how do we do with the relative? We, we need to recognize, first thing with any problem is well, there needs a recognition of yeah. a problem. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. So we need to get on the same page as just saying, Evil. We don't. You know, we call these things tragic events and things like that. When uh, I think it's some because guy of, who's been cr- uh, some guy who's a you know who's in the military has been screaming about Allah for the last year goes in and executes thirteen people. And we call it an event. Yeah. You know, I and mean, it's yeah. not a terrorist event. This is just a domestic. Uh, sorry, this is a workplace violence. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Okay. First thing we need is proper labeling. We cannot, Drew. How could you begin as a doctor without things. proper labeling? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you have to you have to categorize and label things, but but well, that's all you do, right? You yeah. go, let's get a scan, let's do some blood work, let's see what we're dealing with here. Yeah, we don't want to start treatment just willy nilly. We don't know what you have, mm-hmm. so it really seems like that. Um, I agree completely with what you're saying that we're trying to empathize with everything. Uh, we, like, there well, has to be well, a reason why we, everything is happening. Let, and yes, they can't yes, help themselves. yes, yes. Let me explain the true definition of of narcissism. You all think and react the way I think and react. So if I was to go out and do something heinous to another individual, there would have to be a reason. There would have to be circumstances. There's something behind it. You, you, people are generally good. People are good. And then they do bad things forced by their circumstances. That's what gets them to do bad things. But what you're not accepting is that there is evil and that there can be cultural evil as well. It's not simply an employment versus unemployment. I I don't disagree with you. However, I think what people are trying to do is go, well, they for some reason see us as evil. Well, because they're nuts. Because they're fucking batshit crazy. We're trying to understand their point of view. Why uh, why would they think Uh, that? The the Japanese thought we were evil during World War II. Right. And so how do we avoid, you know... Fucking bomb them. That's how you you fucking blow them up. And then they fucking get their shit together. But here's the the deal. I don't give a fuck what they think of the sane people. That's number one. Number one is we're not them. We're never going to be them. Let's not start measuring ourselves with their retarded fucking yardstick. Number one. Number two, we need to unite. My God, if I hear another argument over fucking Israel, I'm going to throw myself into a pitchfork. (laughs) Israel is a bastion of sanity in a group of despot fucking killers. Please stop focusing on Israel, everybody. For good or for bad, they're the sanest people in the land. They're not the problem. The point is this. Israel has nukes and never would use them. I can't say as much for some of the neighboring countries. I would not trust some of the neighboring countries. We have nukes, and people go all the time, well, what makes it okay for you guys to have nukes? Well, Mike, what makes it okay for an honest cop to have a gun versus a gangbanger? Is it the gun? No. It's the cop. He's a good guy. He's honest. He's the guy you want protecting you. So he has a gun. I trust him with it. I trust us with it because... Last I can tell, the only time we use nukes is to end wars that other people started. 
that ended up saving thousands and thousands of lives. So fuck you with your why do you guys get nukes? And by the way, I've done the math, Drew. We've set off more nukes on our own soil than we've set off on foreign soil. Oh, sure. All right. So we bombed ourselves. We bombed the Nevada desert <laughs> more than we bombed. And we, we but probably, you could argue Russia's infinity more on their own soil than anywhere else because that's all they've done. All right. So they're, they're, uh, they hate themselves as well. The point is, is... I don't hate stamps. All we need to do is draw a line. We need sane nations and insane nations. Insane on the right, sane on the left, and we'll just parcel up the world, and then all sane nations, it's time to put an end to this. Stamps is sane. And